Hi everyone, it's Miss Julia, your literacy manager at Stark Library, and I am here to show you guys how to make a really simple Play-Doh recipe. It just takes two ingredients. You just need cornstarch and hair conditioner. And I would suggest the cheapest bottle of hair conditioner that you can find. Um, and if you want to add food coloring, go ahead. I don't have any food coloring, so we're not adding it. But it's really easy and it's fun and it feels like really soft, almost like moon sand um, a little bit. And it doesn't require flour, which is awesome because uh, flour is really hard to find in the grocery stores right now. So you just take two cups of cornstarch and it's a two to one ratio. So two cups of cornstarch for one cup of conditioner. And the really nice thing about doing something like this, this is a great way to incorporate math into your uh, day with your children. Um, you can give them maybe a half cup measure instead of a full cup measure and have them figure out how many half cups you need to make a full cup. You can give them a quarter cup and then you can just have fun with it as they add the fractions together and they won't even realize they're doing math. I used to do this with preschoolers, so it was so easy. So you just dump out the conditioner, and you could use a spoon if you wanted to, or if you're like me and don't mind getting a little bit messy, just start mixing with your hands. And this is a really fun way for your kiddos to have fun with um, getting messy. You could do it outside. Um, you can put a towel down, you can give them an old t-shirt to wear, and you just keep kneading it until it comes together and makes a ball of dough. It is a little bit sticky, and that's okay. If you get a nice scented conditioner, you end up feeling like, my conditioner is coconut, so it feels like we're at the beach, even though we can't go to the beach right now. So. And you'll notice that it just starts coming together and you end up with a beautiful, really fun Play-Doh. And I would suggest, like I said, I would put down some tablecloth on your table or um, you know, some stuff on your floor so that if this falls down, it's easy to clean up. It shouldn't be too hard though, because it is, like I said, hair conditioner and cornstarch. And it'll last uh, for a few hours. And then um, it's time to put it away. You can um, put it in the refrigerator to extend the life, but it will start to get really sticky and um, kind of wet feeling. So here is the beautiful, soft, silky dough. And you can use um, cookie cutters if you want. Other things that I like to use with Play-Doh and little ones, I just like to have them build things and ask questions. So what are you building today? Why did you make that? Or can you make the letter J for your name? Or the letter um, B for your name? Can you show me what five dots looks like? Can you show me what, um, how many 10 is? So you can just have fun with it. This is great fine motor for those of you trying to build up your, your child's fine motor skills, help them hold their pencils better, hold scissors better. Um, Play-Doh is an awesome activity for something like that. So that's it. It was just cornstarch and hair conditioner. Two cups of cornstarch to one cup of conditioner. Mix it up a little bit. You can put some um, food coloring in there. And then you have a beautiful dough. So please tell us how your dough comes out in the comments below. And we'll see you guys later. Bye.